the nature of the counterweight to be deployed to launch the bridge became clear today. An early approach to the bridge this morning revealed that, as expected, roadway panels were being assembled on the east end to act as counterweight. They provide considerable mass. Work on all the fasteners continued as before. There was clear interest being taken in the East Plinth, and we'll come back to that a little later. As the morning wore on, more work was done to build the counterweight. Crossing the gap to the west side, it was evident that the remains of the old bridge were still causing difficulty. But things were coming along. The downstream passage of a tug and barge allowed the bridge to be viewed in perspective. By mid-afternoon, with many of the roadway panels in place, attention turned back to the fasteners. An effort was clearly being made too to remove extraneous material from the area around the bridge. Over on the west side, the priestly team appeared to have won the battle with the old bridge and were tidying up, something in which they take particular pride, entirely justifiably. We're going to come back to the East Plinth in a moment, but first let's check in on the iron workers and their fasteners. There's quite a bit going on, and several moving parts. But the thing of interest is the work of a carpenter on the plinth. It's been suggested, and I see no reason to doubt it, particularly when I see him cutting form boards, that there are preparations to pour new concrete on that site. Time will tell, and in the meantime, like this heron, we can only wait and see. Thanks for watching.